Hey, it's been Snake out here with a quick little, I'm going to say, epoxy tutorial. Um, that's what I'm going to go with, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, so basically, as you can see, there's a bunch of figures in front of me, um, all looking a bit shabby here, there, and everywhere. I've got different things going on with them. Um, and they're all very close to being finished, but they need a few tweaks here and there. Now, as I've just shown you in my uh, works in progress video of my cap, I want to put some scales on him. So that's what I'm going to do with him. Uh, with Sabretooth over here, I need to sculpt in a bit more trouser detail. I may get away of actually just doing that with a knife. Uh, Mr. Grimm here, I accidentally, well I say accidentally, back in the day when I first really started collecting these things, I cared about how much they can move the legs, so I cut loads of his hips out, and it just looks terrible now, so I'm going to put that back in, try, I might tidy up a few things here and there, uh, Miss Storm here, I'm going to make her legs a bit wider, um, try and make her a little bit more fen, fenomen, fenonym, fenomen, way to go English language, feminine, um, I'm also going to try and, and it's going to sound really bad, but I'm going to try and curve her rumpus a bit more as well because her bum has somehow ended up a bit square shaped. Uh, Mr. Richards here, I'm going to uh, fill in some of the shoulder gaps here to try and take out such a cut. Maybe try and make it a bit more smooth. Um, I may try and make some ac um, arm extensions for him as well. I also saw with that... Um, person I mentioned in my previous video, the uh, what, was, what was the name again? The, the Cooking Company, I think it was. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link. Um, she shared about how to make weapons in a different video, like clip-on weapons, and I'm going to try that for him. I think it would be a great test, and I'm really excited to see what happens. And as I said in my previous video, with my Howard Jordan here, I need to fill up this little groove here. And for the Hulk in the background here, um, I've started doing it with a little bit left over had when I did my Ultimate Hulk, but I swapped his hips out for the... World War Hulk or Gladiator Hulk in the Annihilus series, I think they are. But I need to turn them into trousers, basically. So that's why I just splattered that little bit on there. It was just some leftover. We also need to clear it off his uh, little belly button there. But anyway, so that's what I need to do with these guys. Um, and what I'm going to show you today is a few of the different brands that I personally own. Not that are only available, because there's like loads out there, which I don't even know about. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to hopefully try and do something on camera. I've never tried this before, so please, please bear with me. So let's start. So what is one of the most common ones that I'm aware of is this stuff. It's called Epoxy Sculpt, and it comes in two parts. Uh, mine comes in a dark grey and like a creamy grey. Um, I've had these for years, um, to be honest. I've got these a long time ago. They cost me about £15 a long time ago. They're big old tubs, um, and they've lasted me absolutely forever. Uh, I'm very very happy with them and yeah they it's just um, before this I got some stuff from um, Games Workshop which I believe is a UK company I'm not sure if they're worldwide um, but they do like little uh, miniature figures for like board games and things like that um, they have a lot of stuff going on there most of you should know what that is and they do a product called green stuff and it comes in like this flat blister where one side's green, blue, and one side's yellow, and then you cut off how much you need, then you fold them together, you mix it together, same as this stuff, and then it turns green, which is actually what his, you can kind of see it a little bit there, I'll show you a bit closer in a minute, but that's what his chest is actually made out of, is the green stuff. Um, it's good stuff, but Games Workshop, unfortunately, are a bit pricey with their products, and for what you got, you literally got about maybe that much, and it's about eight pounds so it was quite expensive whereas this was like 15 pound for both of these so great investment they've lasted me a long time and i've just it took my customization to an entire new level um now i'm nowhere near as as good as details with some people nowhere uh, i'm trying to learn but it's a slow process um but anyway that's epoxy sculpt now what i watched when i watched a uh Glenn Webb review is he uses he did a little tutorial himself about how to use this stuff and he uses this stuff called Milliput. Never had of it before. Um, never tried it before. I've literally got this the other day. I haven't opened it yet because I want to finish this stuff off, which is nearly empty first. Um, but I believe it's basically the same concept. Uh, if I just open the box, as you see, it comes in two parts: one blue, one well, it's actually like grey and yellow. So you can see they're wrapped in cling film and so forth in baggies. So, yeah, 
I don't know how good this stuff is yet. Um, so this was an experiment, but I thought I'd show you the different brand. Um, so that's Milliput. Um, now this only cost me about three pound and it's massive. You get, uh, where did I see the measurement? There you go. There you go. Uh, four ounces or 113 grams. It's quite, it's got quite a bit of weight to it. Now this is, these are quite heavy and these are individually, let's see if it focuses. Come on, focus. Stupid camera. Eight ounces and 227 grams. Um, but you get two of these, so it's a lot. That one feels heavier, but I think the grey, dark grey is a lot denser. Uh, anyway, moving on. <clears throat> now this stuff is called uh, Primo, which is a polymer clay. Now what polymer clay is, is it, um, it you, you shape it to what you want, and then you bake it at a really low heat for about half an hour or so, and then it goes hard. Uh, never tried this stuff before. I literally stumbled across it the other day. I got some off eBay. This cost me £1.75 for a block this big. That's how much I've used. Not a lot. I mean, if I put this side by side, you can see that you get more for your money with this. But this comes in a great variety of colours. Um, and there's a lady on eBay who I'm going to try and find now quickly. Okay, I've just found her online. Uh, she is a... Her, uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again, shall we, guys? Right. Her YouTube channel is called Sugar Charm Shop. The stuff she makes is insane. She makes only like little charms, like little trinkets and that, but she makes like food, a lot of food with this stuff. Um, I don't know the brand she uses, but the detail she does is ridiculous. And this stuff is like tiny. It's, I, I'm, I'm, when I watched it, I thought she was making something like this. And then I found out it was like that. I was like, you were kidding me. It's absolutely crazy how, how much she can do with it. I don't know if it's really ideal for this kind of customization. Um, I got this stuff. This is fluorescent green in an attempt to try and make some Green Lantern weapons. I thought that would be a cool trial and error. But, you know, I've had a bit of a play around with this stuff. And it doesn't really go translucent. Uh, it does if you basically shine a bright light through it. But I know this is a wonky, but it was a trial. It was just a quick little thing to throw together. Um, but it's it, it's hard. It's, it's not even that hard. It's got... A, bit of bend to it and I think it would break quite easily uh, this went in the oven on like hard gas I've got gas marks so I've only got caps it's like says on the packet to do it for like uh, I think it's 30 degrees I think it says uh, 130 degrees Celsius 275 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes and that is gas mark half um, for those who only use gas marks and I put it in there for about 40 minutes just to be safe. And yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't think this stuff is for me. Um, I, I'm just going to give it to my sister's kids, I think. It, it's not translucent like I wanted. It's fascinating and it doesn't go. The thing is with these is you, you mix them together. You leave them for about half an hour to like settle. And then you've got about three hours work time with like both of these from what I've heard. This, it doesn't dry until you cook it, I've heard. I'm sure if you leave it out for days and days, it would eventually dry out. But they say it doesn't go hard until you cook it. Um, so you, you've got plenty of work time with it, which is good. And it's not that sticky. I With with uh, epoxy sculpt, I find I'm constantly wetting my fingers to make sure that it doesn't um, stick to me. Constantly wetting my tools so it doesn't constantly stick to my tools. But with this, I, I literally was using it and it was fine. It's an interesting product. Like I said, I don't know if it's very suitable for this, but this does come in a great, great range of colours. Um, you can paint them. That um, sugar, oh, I've forgotten it again, the uh, sugar charm shop. She does like some airbrushing with, I think, makeup or some pastels. No real painting involved. And the thing she makes is just amazing. She only highlights. Check her out. She's truly, truly amazing. Even if you're not like into that stuff, just look at her skill level. It's crazy. But I don't think I'm going to get any more of that. So, on to these. These. I'm going to do this on camera here quickly because it doesn't take long. Thing is, I have no idea how much you need. Now, the way you work is you need to get equal portions of both. I think I've got a bit more of this left over somehow. And it's a good idea to keep your fingers nice and moist. Now, I've got an old yogurt pot which I've cleaned out and it's my basically paint pot and so forth. Now, I don't know if it's their ones, 
but my light grey has suddenly got a bit of like the oils come out a bit and it's discoloured. It has not affected my sculpting um, at all. Uh, so I don't really know what to make of that. But if anyone can leave me a comment if anyone else has that problem. But I think it's dried it out a little bit. But I keep these sealed. But as I said, I have had these for a long, long time. But you can see it's got yellow there. That will disappear when you mix them together. Anyway, roll them into a ball. Get the measurement you want. Like I said, I'm trying to do this on camera. A bit more. Try this all by eyeball. While on camera, it's very hard to do. This one seems to be a lot stickier. You don't know what that is? I've just dismantled a biro for the tip I showed you that I got off that um, the cooking company's website. Just wear my fingers quickly. Um, and what she says is basically to make the scale armor is get a tool which i'll show you which you should watch her video but firstly before i go into that as you can see they're roughly the same size all right close that up put that there and then you just need to knead it keep your fingers not like soaked what i do is i dip my finger in it and then i just rub it all over my fingers so all my fingers are wet i literally go plop and i go blah 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 blah, blah and then just knead all this As you can see, I don't know if I can speed this bit up for you guys. <laughs> I'll try. I know I can do it on my phone. I can stop and I can record at a faster speed. But then I'd have to, I don't really like touching other things when I'm using this stuff because I, I don't know how, you definitely shouldn't congest this. I know that much, but I don't know, I don't really want to leave marks on my phone and things like that. So I accidentally spilled a drop of uh, super glue on my phone somehow. I absolutely know how. No, I know how. Wow, I'm doing well with English today. Absolutely no idea how, um, but luckily only one of my screen protector, not on the actual phone itself. So when my screen protector gets too scratched up, I just take it off and I'll get another one. So I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't interfere with me actually using a phone. It's only about two millimeters big. Right, I've just been needing this and like all those discolorations I was telling you about, they're all gone. I'm probably gonna need more than this. I may not need this much. You can't, you really wanna, get you need, you need to kind of guess how much you want beforehand because like i said you should ideally leave this to uh stand for about half an hour before you can re basically what um the cooking company girl says i don't know what her name is so that's why i can call her is she says basically the longer you leave it the less sticky it gets but it, it gets like harder now with a technique she'd said about doing weapons you want to leave it about 45 minutes um i'm only gonna leave it half an hour I should hopefully lose the stickiness and then I can come back and start working with it. Um, and I'm kind of nervous because I've never tried anything so deep to like Captain America before, but I've made some tools to do it. So I'm going to leave that there, start my watch. And I'll be back with that in half an hour. But before I come off, I'm going to show you. Now what she said to do was to find... Uh, what she uses is like a biro tube like this is a biro tube as you can see it's still got some uh or a ballpoint pen as people like to call it but i found that is way too big a hole and the plastic is too thick so i've gone even further for what i want i've taken the actual nib of the pen and i think that is going to give me really really great results what i want the weird thing is i've picked this out i've squeezed this out i've blown this out i've washed it and it's still writing <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy why is it right you know whenever you want a biro or something and it's like you can see this ink in the pen but it never wants to work you're just like uh, sitting there going ah why won't you work the amount of ink that came out of this pen was crazy i don't know why they don't work but just from this one biro i've got loads of different shapes like i've got this as well i could do for scales that was what uh the lid came off i bent a little bit there because i thought i didn't realize it was an unscrew top at first and then this bit actually goes into the metal and into the actual plastic or rather the, the big plastic tube I showed you first goes in there the metal nib goes there and that's kind of the space in between but I've got a small hole there and I've got a big hole there so I've got that I can use as well um, and then I've got the plug that goes at the end and then finally I've got this big old plastic tube here which has several plus some nice lines so I realized I can actually use this one biro 
or ballpoint pen for some real lot of different customization tools. Right, I'm going to stop the video there and I'm going to come back and we shall go from there. And we're back. And as you can see, it has been 30 minutes. So let's clear that. I may have to do some more. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this on camera. Uh, I've got my water here. And I see there's little bits of tape on the floor. That's where I can. I'm going to put my camera to make sure that you're in. So I'm going to get all these guys out of the way. And we'll start with the two that I wanted to start with. And if I have extra clay, then I'll do them. Uh, and I just looked up while I've been waiting that there is a way to speed up my time with the program I use to make my videos. So hopefully this one you won't have to sit for the whole thing. But I'm going to record at normal speed and probably we shall go from there. If not, I'll just have to skip it forward. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. So I'm going to try and do this uh, as much as I can on camera. And uh, well, here we go. Here's my epoxy. It's not so sticky anymore. Um, it's now still see very, very pliable. I've got my water beside me. And uh, yeah, here we go. So what they say is the best thing to do is to, let's get uh, this out of the way first. This is going to be nice and easy. Don't need a lot for this. Got a bit of a wire in the way I'm trying to move that. And that's what I didn't want to happen. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so what they say the best thing to do is dab a very small amount of water on your finger. My fingers are black because I've just uh, undercoated um, my Hulk, uh, my Wolverine and my Iron Man while I was waiting for this. Um, and I thought it was dry and then I picked it up. <sighs> and I used a new spray paint to, uh, to get it off. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, I've not used spray paint for undercoat in a long time, and uh, it's not exactly warm around here, so it's like all on me. Right now, as you can see, that looks absolutely horrible. Uh, <laughs> biggest problem I've got, I can't actually see what my camera can see this time around because I've got you to the side, so I'm trying to stay in. It's very difficult, so bear with, please. Right, take off that bit of excess. Don't need that. Get all this uh, loose bit up here. Hold that down. Get some more water and just start working it into the mold. Now, what uh, Glenn Webb uh, did, and I did try it when I made my Man of Steel actually, um, is he uses toothpicks to to add smaller bits and to work it in and then when he's finished he just kind of goes over it with his finger. I've tried that and it is a good technique um, but the reason he uses two pit toothpicks is because when he's finished he just throws them away because when you have like uh, sculpting tools uh, they do get very dirty with this stuff and if you let it dry on them then it is a mission to come off. I've got plastic ones um, and as you can probably see, if you're looking at the tip of it, it's still got little bits on there. I've tried my best to get them off. Um, I've even used a knife to scrape them off. But it just doesn't like coming off. So, see I've got it on my finger as well. Again, same technique. I get it wet. I wipe off the excess on my finger. So it's not soaking wet. Because if you get the putty soaking wet, then it does turn like wet sand almost. And that's not good. Now, every time I try and do something on camera, it never works. Yeah, I've decided to try and do something on camera. I'm trying to figure out the logic behind this one. <laughs> Come on, get off. There you go. Again, small amount. Let's try and literally work it in and fill up that gap. Don't want it to be bulky. And that's my other video has now been made. And I'm putting quite a bit of force behind this because I'm trying to keep his uh, muscle sculpt. I'm not worried too much if it's a little bit lumpy because I can take care of that with a little bit of sandpaper afterwards. Getting my fingers wet. 
And then he's got a bit going down his bum crack. Got a bit here he doesn't need. You find that when you're trying to make something flat, you do end up putting it on where you don't need. And when I say flat, I don't mean like flat edge like this here. I mean making it flat so it's flush with the rest of the body. Now I don't need sculpt here, and I don't need sculpt down here, but it just helps to smooth it out. And as you can see now, I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. How to get it here? Good bones crutch. Didn't mean to do that. Hopefully, that was all on camera. Let's just rotate that around. See, I'm trying to keep it so we keep the joint. Even though I'm not a big fan of this joint, it's ratchety, so I don't mind it so much. So I'm happy to keep it. The reason I don't like these joints is normally when you've got a figure uh, has this joint, they're just all floppy about and they end up like spinning around doing like helicopter legs and things like that. I just think it looks weird. Got a bit in there, let's get this out. No idea how that got in there. But you know, you get stuff on your hands and your hands touch things. And then how Jordan is now done. A bit more water. Smooth out all the fingerprints because you do put a lot of fingerprints on when you do this. So don't worry about fingerprints while you're doing it. Just remember to wipe them off when you're done. Just run a moist finger over them and then voila. I could probably take off this bit here if I really wanted to, but it doesn't really matter too much to be honest. It's not going to affect it anymore. And I can sand it all down once it's done. So let's prop him up so he can't lean on it. That's the other thing is when you're finished make sure you prop them so they can't lean on what you've just molded because I've done that before and I've spent hours on something and then I've accidentally lent it on something and it's just ruined it. And I've just gone no! That's why I've got uh, Captain America in a bench press kind of position, not bench press, a push up position. So then he's going to be elevated, his chest will be completely elevated because if I do that his back is going to be squished against the floor. Now this is going to be very interesting for myself and yourselves yourselves so here we go uh, i'm trying to fab them away to keep that star shape i think i'm just going to have to put it on cut the shape out or maybe do all the sculpt afterwards now what um cooking i can never remember her name what cooking uh company said is you need to make sure you get all your fingerprints and marks out before you try and sculpt uh, because if you don't, um, then once you put all those little marks on, which we're going to try and do, it's it's not going to work. I don't know why I'm rolling this, actually. I need to make it as thin as possible. I think I'm just going to literally apply this bit by bit. So I want to make it as thin as possible. A bit more water. You see, I'm constantly putting bits of water on my hands. I want to try and keep as much of this muscle sculpt as I can. I'm going to follow the, the line of the blue. Now it doesn't go all the way around his chest. I've also got some tissue beside me, so if I get too much moisture, I can just quickly run it over that and it'll be fine. I really want this as thin as I can get it. Now, I hope you can see that. I'm trying to clear the hole. Don't want it in the hole, because obviously I want to put a shield on his back. I think I might make it too thin now. That'll do. Need this bit here to go here. You see that? There's a bit. See, it's not quite there, so I'm just going to use this here. Dab. Take off the excess. And I'll just use this to fill in the gap. Look too rough. Dab. Take off the excess. Smooth. See? How's that? Gotta be careful if my battery, if I run out of uh, space on my phone, I'll have to pause this, take off the video, and then continue it. So I've got to keep an ear out for that. 
of course, if I am fast forwarding this, I very much doubt you're going to hear me doing much talking, although you might hear me sound like a chipmunk. So, that could be quite entertaining. Um, chipmunk, splint snake. <laughs> right, now, I'm trying to show this. Sorry, I'm kind of coming off camera a bit here. I'm trying to follow. There's a line here of his crease. I'm trying to follow that line here, because he doesn't have it there, and I'm literally going to follow this line here. And that's it, all I'm doing. And I'm going to follow the line of the sculpt actually, just there. Right, I'm going to try and level that all out. See, I've made it so thin, you can actually see part of his muscles coming through. Now, I really, really want to do a test to see how well this technique's going to work and I think I will because I don't want to be at this for hours putting all this putty on only for it to be too thin and then it doesn't work so let's get a nice follow the line now you can see I'm probably making a bit of a mess this isn't me sculpting it this is me trying to Bring it a bit further, closer to where I want it. I'm going to follow that little arch in his back. Right, now I'm going to smooth that well. And I'm going to take away all this excess here. Right, the problem is if I try this then it messes up. I might have to do it all. I need to make a decision. Shall I try it? So I'm going to try it. Right, so we start at the bottom, so I need to bring this to a bit more of a point, a bit of tissue. Things are sculpting, it can be pain, painstaking work. Right, dry right fingers, let's try this. Now, I'm only going to try and do like a 45 degree. I don't, well, maybe not a fourth degree. I don't want to do like a whole circle. What she does whole circles, but I don't want a whole thing because I want to. Hmm, that's not working as well as I thought it was going to. Because then you do... Right, I've got an idea. I think I'm going to have to improvise and make a tool quickly. Let's put him down there. Let's grab my own knife. We will try using this, but it's cut off a bit. You see that? Taking that little tool I showed you earlier, I'm going to cut off half of it. You're wondering why am I doing this? Okay, let's try this one then.
What do you think of that? Quite happy with that actually. That's not bad at all. It's a bit bigger than I'd have liked. Yeah, I think that's going to do fine. Okay, let's continue. Now I'm going to put a gentle finger, just take off those loose bits, and then I'm going to keep sculpting. looks pretty good so far. Let's give it excess water. Just got a bit of fingerprint there. Don't worry about all these lines, they'll sand out and then I'm done. Now I'm not gonna put his uh scales in yet. I'm gonna got this piece here which I was just rolling. This stuff's getting very hard to use now. Uh I think I've maybe left this a bit too long but I'm, I'm not sticking to me so much, right? I've cut it that bit in half and I'm going to put these on the biceps. As much as I need, a bit of water. It's starting to crack. Zoom in the position. Here we go. Tell you what, I thought this was going to be really tedious and painstaking, and although I'm sure it is to watch, it's not terrible to do. So there we are, we are done with Captain America's scaling, and wow, just Wow, with this, that's absolutely blown me away a little bit. Okay, again, had to remove the video. This is quite a long video I'm doing here. Right, I tried um, with Sue Storm, I tried increasing the leg, but the putty's too dry now and it's just not sticking with fine detail. But I think I'm going to be able to get away with just using it to fill up these gaps on Mr. Grimm here. Um, it's a bit annoyed me, I'm not going to lie, but it's my own stupid mistake. Uh, but it should be fine, like I said, just to fill up these gaps in here. We gotta be the best, the best we can be. Okay guys, so there you go. That's my little, well I say little, it's quite a long video now of uh, some uh, epoxy sculpt tutorials. Please heed what I did. Don't leave this stuff in the sun, else it gets ruined. Um, I keep dropping it. Now you can see that like, this is still squeezable. See, it's squishing it. But if you listen to when I drop it on my desk, sounds like it's hard like a little pebble so that just gives you a bit of an indication of what this kind of stuff dries and although I can't apply it and I can't think of anything to do with it I was just going to make something silly of it but I just can't think of anything off the top of my head I'm tired I'm hungry and I've been hunched over way too long making this video so it can bear
bit of pebble that fell off of the thing. Oh, you know what I might do? I, I know what I'm going to do with it. I've had an idea. I'm going to shape it into one of uh, the thing's slabs. Um, like when he uh, is fighting the Serpent Society in, I forget the the, uh, the arc, the story arc, but uh, yeah, a chunk of uh, his armour falls off. And everyone's like, what? What was that? Um, I'm not going to tell you any more than that. You have to read it to find out. But, you know, this is just very simply, I'm just going to quickly round up the video to say, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope that it's been helpful in some fashion or another. Um, I've enjoyed making it, and I really enjoyed doing my uh, Captain America there. That was uh, very cool. Very cool how that turned out. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to keep going with this stuff. Um, I'm going to try making my phone a rest because it's been hot and it needs to like just calm down and charge for a bit. So, but I'm hopefully going to paint some uh, bits in a bit, and then I can show you what's going on. Uh, just a quick uh, exp explanation as to why I didn't use my new backdrop folly is because this stuff's very messy. Look, I'm just picking up bits of scrap. Um, so you need to be careful on what you do this on. Um, because it will leave mark bits of things lying around. So, and I was going to stand him up and put his head back on him, but I'd probably end up messing up the sculpt. So I'm just going to leave him to dry. I'm not going to touch him. Same for how, and now this is where they're going to stand until they're they're dry tomorrow. I'm now going to leave him for 24 hours in their nice positions, and yeah, should get them painted tomorrow. And I might try and catch them on uh, camera. We shall see. Anyway, as usual, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Bye bye.